As far as I'm concerned, Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing. It may not be an official mental disorder, but it's certainly a real phenomenon. So many people on the left, and I include myself in this occasionally, have become absolutely unhinged at Trump being president. I mean, we look at it as Biff Tannen has become president. And no, uh, people didn't have TDS before Trump was president. He didn't have the power. Yeah, he was just another asshole chauvinist on TV, rich, a reality TV star. A lot of people still viewed him as a con man, but it didn't really matter that much because, well, he didn't really have, certainly didn't have any political power. But TDS has brought us a lot of awful things, polarization being the main problem. Reasonable political discussion has went out the window. That whole mindset of pick a side or it will be chosen for you has become much more prevalent. Big tech censorship has become more prevalent nuance has disappeared. And anything Trump does that's good gets overlooked. People will say, oh, well, that wasn't really Trump that, that enacted that. He just signed something. Trump didn't do any work to achieve that. And yet, if a Democrat signed something, they would be labeled as, oh, yeah, they, they implemented this. You know, just totally different standards. If Trump pushed for and passed universal health care, There'd still be people declaring it's racist or something. Oh, it, it disproportionately helps white people more or, or something. There'd, there'd be some way to say that uh, it's bad. Or there'd be some way for people to say, oh, well, Trump wasn't really responsible for it. And they, you know, whatever, you know, Trump can do no good to those who have TDS. If you show someone with TDS clips of Trump saying negative things and decrying white supremacy and the KKK, they'll say, oh, well, he doesn't really mean it. There is footage of Trump decrying the KKK and white supremacists. In fact, Trump has actually declared the KKK as a terrorist group, or at least he's vowed to do that. But Trump goes against every social norm that has become the new norm over the past 30 or 40 years. He gives the middle finger to PC culture. And that's one of the things that pisses people off about him so much. It's also one of the reasons why so many people on the right just love him. Now, I'm with George Carlin. I think PC culture is a terrible thing. I mean, we should try to be nice to each other, sure. But PC culture designates that we're supposed to memorize a whole bunch of things in order to not be considered offensive. You can't just try not to be an asshole. That isn't good enough. Memorize, 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 right? So I'm not a fan of PC culture. I think people should be able to speak their minds. But nevertheless, the left has become absolutely unhinged over Trump. Some of it is just because you know, I, they can see how Trump carries himself. You know, other parts are the fact that Trump expects people to praise him constantly, to almost worship him. And if you don't worship him and you don't praise him, and especially if you criticize him, he tries his best to degrade you as much as possible. He refuses to take the high road and work with people who don't like him. He doesn't reach out to people who don't like him. If he's pressured by enough people, he'll work with people he doesn't like, or I should say people who don't like him. But otherwise, it's mostly name-calling that comes from Trump. Degrading comments, name-calling, trying to lower the morale of anyone who doesn't praise him. And so the left has become unhinged about Trump, as I've said. Some of this is just out of what we can see, other parts of it is media. Mainstream media benefits from the division of the people. If media is able to create a punching bag, they do. And they do it in spades. If it can get them views, they'll say it. It doesn't matter how corrupt it is for them to push these things. They're going to say it. 
And if Trump gets a second term, which is likely, as far as I'm concerned, the rabid element of the left is going to increase by a tenfold. TDS is going to increase by a tenfold. People who were normally reasonable and rational are going to get TDS. The ability to have reasonable conversations politically is going to go in the toilet. Nuance is going to go more in the toilet than we've already been seeing over the past four years. Declarations that if you don't agree with everything that people on the left are saying, uh, de declarations that you're a fascist will increase by a tenfold. Corporate censorship, big tech censorship will increase by a tenfold. The rioting will increase. People dropping friendships with people over political views will increase. That whole notion of pick a side or it will be chosen for you, yeah, will increase. Everyone's going to be forced to pick a side. Side with socialism or side with what gets labeled as fascism. The notion that anything that comes from the right, any news that comes from the right is propaganda, yeah, that'll increase too. So if you get any news, if you post any story from a right-wing viewpoint, it will be deemed as propaganda, it will be deemed as fascist. Notions of social justice, kind of false notions, but, but notions of social justice in Hollywood will increase by a tenfold. All this crap that we've been seeing from the left, and particularly the far left, will increase by a tenfold. It will be seen as rebelling. Even though it's the establishment, it will still be seen as rebelling. Because, you know, as long as you're rebelling against law and order, or what is labeled as law and order, you're a rebel. You're part of the resistance. Doesn't matter how mainstream it is, You'll still be put into this category as if you're rebelling against the man. Yeah, I don't want to see that happen. I also don't want to see what the right wing will do, what the Trump administration will do, to fight against this. Many will see it as fascism. Whether it really is fascism or not doesn't really matter. That's how it's going to be viewed. That's how mainstream media is going to label it. That's how most people on the left are going to label it. And let me be clear, you know, I understand that if Trump loses, if he somehow loses, then a lot of some of the crazy ideas that are coming out of colleges, people that are pushing some of the mindset that uh, caused the incident at Evergreen State College, a lot of those things would uh, continue to grow. I don't really see much that can stop those things from growing except for the government stepping in and being authoritarian. And that might happen if we get Trump as president. Either way, things are fucked. I just think that if Biden somehow wins, we're going to be less fucked than if Trump does. Now, maybe you're saying that if Biden wins, we're just postponing the inevitable. And maybe there's some truth to that. You know, maybe there's some truth to this notion that we just need to let everything come to a head and attack it head on, which is what would likely happen if we have Trump as president again. But I guess I'm just kind of a harm reduction kind of guy. You know, part of it is selfish, too. I don't want to lose more friends. I don't want to lose my ability to talk about politics and social issues. But, I mean, some of this is empathy towards others, you know? I don't want others to lose those things either. I don't want to see big tech censorship increase. I don't want to see people lose their jobs for political views. I don't want to see people having to pretend they believe in a particular viewpoint or have their lives ruined. Now, I suppose you could try to argue that that would happen more if we had Biden. But I don't see the division increasing under Biden. Though I have seen people say that, you know, if Biden wins, a lot of people are never going to forgive Trumpists for being Trumpists. I just know that the only thing that's going to slow down and or get rid of Trump derangement syndrome is when Trump is no longer in office. We're only going to see it get much, much, much worse 
if Trump gets a second term. I guess I don't know what more to say. I probably repeated myself enough. Thanks for watching.